fire in Dundee right around dinner time tonight when the heat index in Omaha was about 100. Firefighters tackled the flames and also had to deal with the stifling conditions. Report John Kipper on the plan to keep them safe on the job. With temps in the mid 90s, Omaha firefighters were not only fighting a blaze around 50th and Davenport, but they were also battling the summer heat. In the middle of the day, in the heart of summer, the Omaha Fire Department put out a house fire in Dundee. The fire mainly struck on the second floor, with crews fighting hard to make sure the blaze didn't seep into the attic, while also not overheating themselves. Make sure we get our crews rotated through. Um, after they've gone through two air bottles, we're having them all get rehabbed right away, so our medics are checking them out and make sure they're physically okay to be able to go back in. While the home is badly damaged, Battalion Chief Matt Carmichael says it should be habitable again. Crews extinguished the fire quickly which also helps them not get too hot. Luckily, the crews got in there fast, got a knockdown, so it helped mitigate that ability, or that need to be overheating, so that helped a lot. Fire crews aren't the only ones taking special care when the mercury rises. Less than a mile away at Memorial Park, folks like Wasim Lone play with their kids at the park nearly every summer night. And on particularly hot evenings, he also has a strategy to fight the hot and humid weather. We do come out even on very hot days. Uh, but uh, again, like, you know, uh, we will not play for a long time at that time, and we do uh, drink a lot of, uh, you know, drinks. The Omaha Fire Department also said that nobody was injured in the fire, and the homeowner arrived on scene after the fire started and was being assisted by the American Red Cross. In the studio, John Kipper, 3 News Now.